Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer, and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Taurus. So let's go ahead and tune your energy, Taurus. All right, for those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to the channel. And for those of you already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, well, welcome back, my lovelies. So glad to have you guys back. Yeah, I've been taking a little breaks here and there, so just try to be patient with me. I've been downloading quite a bit of things with this portal. And so um, I will be periodically putting out videos from time to time a little bit more consistently. All right, you guys. Also, um, thank you so much for your support and all your donations. You know, it, when you guys give me a like, share, and you subscribe to my channel, you help me build my community so that I can bring you guys that higher guidance that you need in your lives. All right, Taurus, so let's get into the reading now. So number five here, we have the communal dance card. This is a dance all about you know, lovers and love and community. And so the universe is asking you to surrender your isolation at this time, at this moment instead, and kind of join this cosmic dance of community. And so it's asking you to really show your individuality and your uniqueness at this time, because you could very well enhance this community group. All right, so let's go ahead and drop into a prayer here and create an opening. Sended masters, angels, and guides, those who have crossed over, please guide me to the highest and best messages for the sign of Taurus. Please and thank you. Ooh, all right. Yeah, cards are trying to pop out here, but I'm just going to give it just a couple more minutes here. Yep, there we go. All right, so our first card that comes out here is revealing radiance now it talks about you illuminating you know your place in the world and i think that there's a lot that has to do with that with this communal dance now this communal dance and this revealing radiance card really collaborate in a sense because they're asking you to really shine your light on the world right now they're asking you to you know put your personality out there a little bit so that people can recognize that you have these gifts for humanity. And so it's asking you to collaborate. It's asking you to come together. You also are in a place where you're in higher guidance. Now you are listening to your intuition now and you are only seeing the good in things. And I think that's where you kind of wanted to land anyways, Taurus, um, because the situation at hand here is all really about, you know, you rising to a higher space, you know, leveling up, um, creating, you know, I, I guess a higher place in this life for yourself. You know, there are new beginnings around the corner here, and this is a yin and yang. If you guys look really close to that, it's starting fresh is the card and so it talks about a new beginning and something better i see balance here just because of the card i do see freshness i do see happiness here and lots of it and so i feel like this is a time of celebration for you you know you do see in this card it seems like there's a gathering there like a bunch of people coming together and i think all of them are kind of embracing the future and they are putting their gifts out there for those of you that are in the healing um, community or you have gifts like that that you're bringing to the table um, I think the message here is to really open up that vortex and allow yourself to really shine in those gifts um, because you weren't just given those gifts for nothing Taurus you were given them for a reason to help humanity you chose to be here in the most beautiful and lovely way you know my Taurus you guys are all about nurturing and that's the most beautiful thing about taurus so here we have the coming into power card and this to me also signifies that divine connection with your intuition 
It's also you kind of stepping boldly into the future and saying, hey, you know what? I have these gifts. I'm not going to, you know, hold them back anymore. I'm going to help the world with what I've got going on here. And so it says, trusting your intuition, my life is truly guided. And again, this is a validation because once you're coming into power, you are listening to that higher guidance. You are listening to the angels and the guides, the ascended masters for those answers. And so you do have some ancient messages coming in here, which is kind of developing and stirring within you. I think there's some things that have come into play here where you're like, oh my gosh, you know, uh, where did that thought come from? Or where, why did I start acting like this? Or why did I start doing this? And so this is you just remembering truly who you are, you know, on an ethereal sense, or I would say a spiritual sense. Now you are standing firm in your power right now. You are standing strong in your truth. I think you know who you are. I think you are in a place where, you know, I don't think it matters what people think about you anymore. You're just going to stand firm in your truth. You're going to be very brave and strong, and you're going to hold that higher integrity um, energy because you're in the process of letting things go. You're surrendering to the ebb and flows of life right now. And of course, you have to because you're doing this communal dance with, with love, with community, and with your higher guidance, your higher self. So I think, Taurus, that that is a really beautiful, beautiful dance that you've been dancing lately. And, um, you know, I think that there's a lot of positive here. You're going out on your own. Now, there are some of you guys I feel like are, you know, going into business with somebody, maybe taking a chance, maybe taking those dimes that you've been saving on the side and maybe putting them into a business or some type of project that's going to help uh, humanity. And I think that those notions are, you know, you're the one that's coming up with that. And you're getting away from something that, I say that job that didn't serve you, you know, that whatever you were doing for work that wasn't in your highest best. Now you've decided to change the dynamics and go out on your own. Now, the reason for that is because you are in flow and the universe is guiding you and it's saying, hey, I got all these things I want to give you, but stick to your truth, stick to your intuition, listen to the messages that are coming through, pay attention to the signs around you, and continue to be in flow. All right, so let's go ahead and, and go into it some tarot and then we're gonna get into my cards that I created and those have been just really kind of crazy for me just because they're you know they're those cards that really stick it to you <laughs> and not that I like to bring them in all the time but boy I tell you you know they do bring in the messages and they kind of have to do it in a way that makes you wake up and so um, in the process of doing those cards uh, it was quite interesting how things came to be. So with new beginnings comes prosperity and ripeness. Now ripeness talks about you being in a better place, in a higher guidance, in a situation that's going to call for you to really, really dive into who you truly are. You know, because you have these gifts to give to humanity, but if you don't know what those are right now, you know, you're just transforming into that. You're done with fighting, you're done with chaos, all of that, that's why you're in flow. You're also done fighting for yourself, okay? Because that's the other thing. That's why there's an illusion here. The whole time you were fighting other people, you were fighting yourself. Because yourself was trying to open up to the possibilities of something better. And you were just sticking with that old job. But now that job has dissolved, now things are transitioning. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You are listening to the higher guidance. You're having those downloads in your dream state. You've woken up to the fact that maybe you were immature in some ways. And now you've kind of grown up and kind of seen things a little bit more clearly. And because you slowed down, you meditated, you started listening to the higher guidance. Here's the guidance listening to the higher guidance of your truth. 
so that you can help humanity. Now, sorrow is something that I feel is really, really difficult for you when you are in a place of depression. You know, this card to me is more of a warning of letting you know, hey, you got all these happy things going. Don't go back into these things in the past. Let the past go and move forward. Okay, Taurus? So a valuable message for you in that regard. Now, let's see what kind of emotional underlying energy is happening here, Taurus. Because I think, <clears throat> yep, yeah, look at this, new job opportunities. See what I mean? These things just come right out and just say it like it is. New job opportunity, working in a community where you're giving your time, you're giving your energy, and you're fulfilled. And here comes love. When you get balanced, here comes love. What's your sign? Ooh, ooh, that's what I'm saying. I was just talking about love with the other thing. Dealing with that energy from the past. You're scared of trusting others. It says, quit lying to me, all right? There's your business card. You're starting a new business. Just like I said, that's a validation card here. It says, where are we headed? So it's you in that place of delegating and understanding and coming together with others and having ideas and formulating a plan on how to do this communal dance so that you're giving your highest and best to the community because that's what's really intended right now for you to do and you know we all know that Taurus you guys are at service all the time whether you want to believe it or not So changing your diet would be a good idea, maybe to up your frequency a little bit so that you won't go into those dark places and look, love shows up, let's get together. I'm telling you, these cards are crazy. That's why I'm trying to get them out in print right now. We will be doing another message here from a loved one that has passed over after I read uh, from our um, love angel cards here. So let's see what kind of love we're looking at, Taurus. What kind of love are we looking at here? So whoever's watching and tuning in, male, female, cross watchers, you know, there's a lot of things happening around you. Your friends are jumping in to help you. They're supporting you, and that's what this communal dance is all about. You guys are putting a retreat together, okay? This is a community retreat so that you guys can give workshops, healing things, letting go of the past, bringing on the new, giving a new relationship a chance because we got love here. This looks like true love to me, Taurus. It says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Of course. You know, it's okay. Sometimes when we end one thing, universe is like, okay, well, you learned your lesson, you got through it, and we're gonna bring in a new love for you. And this one's gonna be in alignment with you. Yep, I want you to make the effort. I think that you're kind of like, well, for those of you that aren't in a partnership, you're like, well, I believed in love, but now I don't. I've been hurt too many times. I'm too protective of my heart says, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, even if you're scared, Taurus. Even if you're scared. That's really the case here, you know? I think that you're just scared of what, what could be, what's the situation, you know? And I think that because you're so scared, you know, You fall back into those old patterns, those old feelings, because it's wanting you to release your ex because it's got some true love coming in here. Now let's see what we got for higher guidance from our loved ones who have passed over. I am sensing that there is a father figure that has passed over. I see him grabbing his chest at this time. So for those of you out there that has had a father that has had some heart issues, had a heart attack and passed, um, this is your message. 
So um, one of the other things that he is also expressing to me is that he's not in pain anymore. I think he had a lot of inflammation in his body that was really tight and hard for him to handle. So I also am seeing that he was community oriented. So it's really, really funny that this comes in the way that it does because you know that person was really part of the community in a large, large way. See, and this is validating. Now I have no pain. Yeah, I think they were in a lot of pain before their passing. And, you know, I, I feel like they built a lot of things, maybe made a lot of projects and then didn't get to follow through with them, but definitely set up the platform. Look at this. The earth is our school. Maybe they put together a project or after school project or some kind of thing where people were learning. And now we're building this into a community. Yeah, it says I'm surrounded by loving animals. I believe that they probably had a dog um, that they were very close to. All right, we got two more coming in. Don't be afraid. Yeah, they're telling you to jump. Don't be scared of the future. There's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of joy here. You know, you're being lifted in celebration right now because you belong to something great. So they just want you to know that they feel healthy and happy because they see the transition in you and they see what's happening here and they're very proud of you. So if you guys would like to get a reading with me, all my information's down there in that description box below. I am doing a Facebook special. So I'm doing 30 minutes for 55 or an hour for 88. And if you'd like to book a reading, all my information's down there. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. So you'll be notified when my new videos do come up. Thank you, Taurus, for allowing me to do your reading today. I love you so much. Namaste.